So as we come to the end of the year, we couldn't be more excited because we have permits on our first basement house here in Arizona. But I'd like to take a quick moment and talk about why basements are so rare here in the Valley. Let's get to it. For the last few years, I've actually had the question about basements come up multiple times and we've seen them being constructed on a more frequent basis than we ever have before. But why are they so rare here in the Grand Canyon State? Well, they're almost as rare as snowfall in July and it's currently December 2nd and based on my Apple Watch here, we're about 75 degrees out. And that brings me to one of the first reasons why they're less common here in our state, specifically due to the frost line that is typically associated in regions that basements are more common. If the frost line is three or four feet deep, you're already excavating a portion of your foundation to be able to get two feet below the frost line with your footings. Well, here in Arizona, as mentioned, it's 70 degrees here in what most people would deem the winter time. And so our frost line is literally zero. And so excavation is not the top priority for most projects that are constructed here in Phoenix. So while frost line obviously played a role in why basins aren't so frequent here in the valley, we have to go into some historical context of when communities were being established here in the valley early in the 1900s. We had some of the small communities of homes being built in downtown Phoenix from 1910 to 1930, which are what we now know as the historic districts of downtown Phoenix. Many of these homes were masonry built and had very distinct features of that time and era. However, when the suburbs started to become developed, most people didn't have a need to incur the additional expense of going down given the expansive nature of the landscape and some of the farming communities that had been established further on the outskirts of town. It wasn't until the post-war era that many of the farmlands and the citrus orchards that were being established in the early 30s and 40s became more of a suburb territory that would eventually be developed into small ranches in the community that we're currently in, which is Arcadia, which is known for its lush green atmosphere, kind of an oasis in the desert, due to the fact that it retained the flood irrigation that the farmers used to be able to till the land and ultimately allow them to be able to produce crop within the area. This gives the characteristics of Arcadia a unique feel because we don't deal with a lot of the caliche or other hard rock or hard dig atmospheres that are located throughout the valley. Given the fact that we live in a desert, many of the areas are very difficult and very expensive to otherwise dig a basement because of the rock surrounding the area from the Phoenix preserves just to our north and all the way out to Superstition Mountains out in Mesa, which obviously will create a major cost and concern when looking at going down instead of going up or staying flat within the construction. And it was exactly that energy efficiency and the idea of being able to have a cool and dark space to be able to watch movies, enjoy and entertain during the summer months was one of the reasons that our client decided to go with a basement. But one of the other key areas that is becoming more common is that we see a ton of infill development and space is becoming more critical in some of the areas in which are most popular to build luxury developments, such as the one that we reside on today. And that coupled with some of the viewpoints that we have of the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, there is a distaste within this community specifically to go two-story. And so those that want to be able to build a larger footprint to be able to meet the demands of a modern living situation for their family often look at the options of going down versus going up. So in addition to some of the reasons why I mentioned that a basement is becoming more popular, I also want to talk a little bit about the ROI because that was also very important to our clients. They want to be able to live their best life on this space, which is about a 19,000 square foot lot due to zoning requirements that minimizes the amount of lot coverage that we can be able to have on this lot to about 30%. With a majority of homes in this neighborhood ranging from 5,000 to 7,000 square feet, we really only had two options to be able to get that square footage out of this property. And that was either go up or down. As mentioned previously, because of the many benefits, it was looked as a positive way to be able to get the square footage that they needed and also allow for generational living as they wanted to be able to have enough space for when their kids came home to be able to visit through the college years and maybe even when they get married that they would have their own space that would be necessary to be able to live in this house for generations to come. While we're truly excited for this opportunity to be able to build this home for our clients, I'd love to hear your comments about why you think a basement is a good or a bad idea here in the desert. And as always, feel free to leave your comments or subscribe below for more content. And as always, have a great day.